Hi everyone. So welcome to this discussion. I am Usama Khan, who is the assistant band manager of the Faculty of Postgraduate and Research Studies at SLTC Research University. And in this discussion, along with me is Dr. Lakshita, who is the dean of the Faculty of Postgraduate and Research Studies, SLTC Research University. What is the impact of this undergraduate research program in the global context? In the global context, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are in a transition period. So the, all the industries are moving towards a different uh, era. Uh, for example, if you take agriculture, we all know that uh, we need to produce high yield uh, crops. And uh, for that, you have AI incorporated in that. We talk about drones, we talk about uh, immediate detection of nutrient deficiencies. So for all these things, you need researchers. You know, you have to have people with an innovative mindset. And uh, think about the automotive industry. Uh, we are coming up with supercars, very efficient cars. And then uh, we can think about the sustainability aspect. Now the entire world is moving towards sustainability and we have to make sure that we are uh, we keep the global temperature increase within 1.5 otherwise uh, 1.5 degrees celsius otherwise we'll get very bad climate effects very unpredictable effects so uh, uh, and then you come to healthcare industry healthcare industry is moving towards uh, the ai driven uh, ecosystem in a very rapid way uh, for example, drug designing and then disease identification. Earlier, uh, people did breast uh, cancer scanning uh, at the age of 40 because uh, that, that, that's the time that you can see where the cancer has been developed or not. But now they advise with the AI revolutions uh, to do the scanning at the age of 20. So at the very beginning, uh, at the very early stages, you can detect whether there is a potential to uh, get cancer in the future. Uh, so just like that, the entire industries are moving towards a different uh, AI-based era. So we have to make sure that there are people who can uh, implement this stuff and who can integrate AI into different industries. Because we all know that there's, a, there's an AI boom. Uh, all the students who pass out from their high school, they want to do a, a degree in uh, software engineering, in computer and, and in IoT, IT. But at the same time, you have to have scientists and engineers who can integrate AI into the, in different industries. For that, you have to have uh, people with uh, research experience and innovative mindset. So that's one thing. And on the other hand, we know, as I mentioned earlier, the world population is increasing in a very rapid way. Uh, so we, we have to focus on three main things. This is called food, water and energy nexus. We all know that we are in an energy crisis, right? We can't use fossil fuels anymore uh, because it will affect the climate. It will affect the global carbon footprint. Uh, so we have to come up with uh, alternative technologies. We have to see how renewable energy can be harnessed in an efficient way and this renewable energy can, how it can be stored in an efficient way because you might need to uh, transport the energy that we harness from one place to another place. For that, you have to have different other methods. You might store that in a battery or you can store it in ammonia or you can store it as hydrogen gas. Uh, so that's about energy side and when it comes to food uh, we all know that we have to come up with high yield crops because the area the land areas that we have to cultivate is depleting and also we can't use fertilizers as much as we used to uh, use some time back so we have to come up with now uh, new uh, high yield crops and uh, very efficient fertilizers uh, which gives a uh, very large uh, 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 yield 
with an addition of a small amount of them. So there are many technologies that we have to look at when it comes to food aspect and we have to make sure that every person who uh, lives in this world get a nutrient filled, a healthy meal. Uh, so that's about the food security because we think when we eat, even in our case, we think that we have enough food. But the problem is whether we get uh, the right food with the right balance of nutrients. So that's another problem that we need to address uh, very soon. And also the water crisis. There's a drought in California, there's a drought in Africa. Uh, of course, we are blessed with rain, uh, but there are many villages, even in Sri Lanka, who don't get uh, clean water to drink, in the, especially in the drought season. So we have to come up with new technologies, new filters, water filters, and then how to convert brackish water or uh, seawater into usable water. For example, if you can convert seawater into a usable uh, water format, then you can use that in agriculture in the uh, Middle East. So uh, there are very urgent needs in the world. So we need people uh, who have experience in research and who have an innovative mindset to address these issues. Thank you, Doctor, for your valuable time. And I would like to also thank the viewers on your valuable time as well for listening to this discussion and let's meet in another discussion very soon. Thank you.